When most people hear the word cholesterol, they automatically think about high cholesterol levels and all the fatty foods associated with it. Too much cholesterol in the bloodstream can cause damage to the blood vessels and heart, and eating animal-derived foods such as meat, eggs, and dairy products can increase your chances of developing high cholesterol. But not all cholesterol is bad for the body, and not all cholesterol comes from your diet. As a matter of fact, the body naturally produces cholesterol, and it needs good cholesterol to function, so it's important to know the difference between the good and the bad types. Cholesterol is one of the blood fats, and we have heard so much about cholesterol lately, and likely one of the better divisions is the good cholesterol and the bad cholesterol. Cholesterol has many types. The two big components are called LDL, low-density lipoprotein, and HDL, high-density lipoprotein. And simplistically, we talk about the LDL being the bad cholesterol and the HDL being the good cholesterol. Uh, that means that uh, the bad cholesterol tends to accumulate in the arteries, tends to form plaques, tends to be the precursor to what eventually might end up being a heart attack. The good cholesterol actually acts in part in reversing the cholesterol transport, takes cholesterol out of the plaque in the artery and may return it to the circulation, to the liver, to be excreted. You can think of uh, the cholesterol particles as uh, marbles, maybe the small dense ones, and the larger, lighter ones might be ping pong balls. And so uh, the, the small marble ones are more dangerous. So cholesterol is quite a complicated subject and we're developing more and more therapies that are aimed not just at the total cholesterol but in altering the good and the bad.